Well, that that dovetails nicely into our our main topic today, which of course is uh, uh, email attacks and how we think they might change in 2020 and beyond. So first, uh, you know, just to make sure we know what we're talking about, let's define our terms. When you say email attacks, are we just talking about phishing or are there multiple variant attack vectors that we're speaking of with this term? Yeah, it's it's a great question, and um, you know I'm a bit you know a bit of a novice right in cybersecurity, and so I think okay. one thing I was surprised by when we first started was just how many terms there were and how overlapping they are. Right? Sometimes right. people use phrases like business email compromise, and sometimes they mean phishing, sometimes they mean executive impersonation, sometimes they mean account takeover. Right? And kind of right. all blend together. Yep. And so there's a couple of different frameworks people use to you know talk about different types of email attacks. I think um, you know they all you know there's a lot of kind of marketing folded in there. It's kind of hard to know what people mean. Um, one way, one way that we use to think about it is just you know talking about kind of the fundamentals of what is the attack. And there's kind of three categories that we use. So one is any sort of link-based attack, right? So you know traditional phishing where they're trying to get you to go to some website, or it could be some you know maybe sophisticated advertising. Second category is some sort of file or attachment-based attack where people are you know, trying to use ransomware, or malware to do a bunch of things. Mm-hmm. The third category, um, which is where we really specialize in, is um, I think Gartner calls it payloadless attacks. The idea is that there's kind of no link and there's no attachment. So a lot of the kind of conventional mechanisms for stopping it don't really work. Um, so, you know, really that category, it's called, you know, payload list because there is no traditional payload. I think those are generally, you know, I would refer to those generally like social engineering attacks. Yep. Kind of objectives vary. It could be, you know, stealing data. It's usually stealing money. Um, yep. But, um, you know, I would call them social engineering. There's not, re- they're not really payload lists, right? They are, you know, social engineering attacks, they have, a payload is just like in the text, in the words they're trying right. to create. Right, it's still like, driving you toward an action that results in a problem, yeah. Exactly, and like the, the payload is almost like an emotional response where they're trying to get mm-hmm. you to think something and just like, you know, yeah. bypass your traditional way of working. Um, and they're, they're very clever and they kind of change every day and every week. And so um, anyway, I think you know, any attack that's trying to you know, steal something from a company, it's coming in via email. I would generally put that into this bucket of you know, targeted email attacks. 